thank you. Uh, so, um, prerequisites is a very important issue to consider. And if I were to simplify it a little bit, if you are thinking about moving to a federal system, uh, it is especially important that you have the right bureaucratic prerequisites. Not to say political parties aren't, aren't important there, but particularly you need to have the right uh, administrative capacity, both at the central level, because the paradox of federalism uh, and decentralization is that it's promoting autonomy, but it requires a strong degree of central steering in order to work out all of the rules that have been put in place in order to bring about greater degrees of autonomy. You need that at the national level, and you also need it at the uh, subnational level where you're creating these new entities. The PDP Laban uh, is proposing 11 states within a federal system. They say it's all negotiable. But one striking thing about those 11 states is that they do not currently exist. So if you want to have effective capacity across those 11 states, be ready to develop 11 uh, NEDAs, 11 departments of health, 11 uh, department DPWH, uh, Department of Transportation, etc. And we also know that the challenges of building stronger bureaucracies are much greater at the subnational level, where there's much higher degrees of political capture than there is at the national level. So a critical prerequisite for federalism is uh, bureaucratic capacity. Uh, and if you're thinking about parliamentary or semi-presidential, uh, again, Bureaucracies are not important there, but the critical prerequisite there is stronger political parties. So if you want to sequence it, uh, the thing that makes sense is to first put in place uh, electoral system reform that can build stronger political parties over time, because this is no sort of overnight uh, snap your fingers and you've got stronger parties. This takes, takes a, a lot of effort. Then think about uh, moving to a parliamentary system uh, with all of its virtues. Semi-presidential, I'm having a real difficulty seeing any virtues of that. Uh, as uh, my colleague uh, uh, Ben Murdoch of, uh, uh, Ben Riley of Murdoch uh, said at a, a PDP Laban forum a couple months ago, semi-presidentialism is easy to choose but hard to implement. It's easy to choose because you think, oh, we're going to get the best of both worlds. It's going to be little presidential and little parliamentary. In fact, you are putting in place a dual executive which if, uh, if you don't have a clear disparity between the president and the prime minister is a recipe for conflict. So across these two things, you're taking a state that is already weak and finding all sorts of new ways to make it even weaker at the national level with this dual executive and by uh, putting substantial authority out to a bunch of states that haven't even been created. 